That's awesome. That's a nice job. Those inside guys going to run on the way back. Look there at Dane like you're working to get open. Building a basketball program takes time. You take 20 pounds of potatoes and you stock them into a 10-pound bag every day. For Tennessee coach Bruce Pearl, 24 hours a day isn't always enough. I know that the competition is tired too, and I feel good about myself knowing maybe tonight they're in bed and I'm not. Ryan Childress, are you catching my intensity? Bruce Pearl is busy building one of the top recruiting classes in the nation. Hey. It's 9.45 p.m. It's been a long day on the road. Now that practice has started, um, we really haven't been out that much because my focus is the team. But I did give the team the day off, but that doesn't mean the coaches get the day off. It gives us a chance to get out on the road and do some recruiting. Less than 10 hours later, he's ready for more. You like my pansies? I planted pansies this weekend. Usually Mondays and Thursday mornings, excuse me, Monday and Friday mornings, we, uh, we get in for 6.30 workouts, lifting weights and, and some conditioning and training. I like Friday mornings because um, it keeps them in Thursday night a little bit. And Thursday night's a pretty good night, or at least it, it, it gets them, if they go out Thursday night, it gets them in a little sooner. He drives to campus on Westland Drive every morning. He's not working yet, but it's never far from his thoughts. The real test of a fan or when things aren't at their very, very best. We've had some pretty good news. I haven't lost a game yet, so right now they're not, they're not calling for my job. I didn't have a appointment at the radio station until 8. I was ready to leave the house at 7.30. Oh, I can't get into the building. I can't, well, that's awesome. I actually called and had Craig Pickerton call the radio station, let them know I was gonna be in the building a little early so that I could be productive this morning and I got 10 minutes on the sports animal. My greatest challenge is not what it's gonna be to win the SEC at Tennessee someday. That, that's going to happen. You have to win to stay here. But this job is bigger than coaching a basketball team. It's promoting. This morning is the very first radio or television spot that I've cut. Selling. I'm Bruce Pearl. This is Coach Bruce Pearl. I'm Bruce Pearl. I'm Bruce Pearl. I'm Bruce Pearl. He has media. I'm unlimited in how much physical drill work I could do. I can't afford to lose a guy. And sponsor obligations. Tell me about the one bank that tailors to the Tennessee fan. Good job. I got to do what I got to do. It's part of the job. Hello. Hello. Bruce Pearl left home three hours ago, but he's just getting to work. What's up, coach? Every How day in the basketball office is different. Hey, Mike, hold on one second, okay? There are always calls to make. Five versus five, he deserves the opportunity. You hope for the best and you prepare for the worst. This is about the process. You got enough. This thing is ringing all, it rings all the time. Today, there's a commercial to shoot. And you're going to look up and say, yes. How are you doing? And then there's Good. lunch. Good to see you. You guys going to come out and see our team? Okay. Shake some hands and meet some students. And... There's still no time to take yeah, a break. Yeah. What brought you down to UT? We're going to move the students closer to the floor. Who can I make it out to? And I'm Bruce Pearl. What year are you guys? Hey, you two Chattanooga's got a pretty good basketball program. I know you'll be at the basketball games, right? While students are eating at the presidential cafeteria. Hey, do you enjoy basketball? I'm Coach Pearl, I coach the basketball team. Worked my whole life to get to a place like this. I need your support. Pearl is working the room. We're going to get it going. Get your faces painted. Act like a fool. I've never lost any place I've ever been, so I don't plan on starting now. Y'all get raffle tickets. Lunch is over. It's time to get back to the office. The official bank of the balls. They're still working on that commercial. I've never seen anything like Big Orange Country or Big Orange Banking. And Pearl's getting ready for the fun part. It's about 2 o'clock and Coach Pearl's been working for seven and a half hours. This is the stairwell that takes him from his office to the basketball court. And when they roll out the practice balls, he forgets about all that other stuff. This is the best part of the day. Practice is my favorite. That's, That's awesome. when I'm That's with nice the players. Job. Nice job. Nice job. What's up, Vic? You used to love me? You used to love me? Of You're not mad at me? No. When I called you out a little bit? When I ask you to do something, I'm not doing it for my help. Two hands! Two hands! Try to get yourself open. What, are we mind readers? We're supposed to be mind readers. The first thing you should think about doing is pass the ball, not putting it on the floor. Shoot that! Middle, middle, higher CJ, higher CJ! Are you catching my sense of urgency here? That ball should not hit the ground! We're gonna get these shots in a game. Spots, spots, spots! And then I go around and I ask you to do it. And two seconds later, you're not doing it. Trap, trap, hands! Let the ball come in, let the defense sink, pivot! Good job, way to be sharp, good job. This is better than most practices. His family's here. That's pretty funny. It's his parents' first trip to Knoxville. His father watches, and he shares a special moment with his mom. We're walking in the Susan B. Coleman breast cancer, and I said, and my mother's a breast cancer survivor, and I started to get upset. <laughs> Practice ends, and there's a long line of people that want his time. Why did I mind getting this just 
just now. Did you sign 10 balls? Birds pick him up at 5. Could you come into my office at uh, 5? Could you? And then we'll work on it. Uh, 5.15? Why don't you come up and, and come into my... What time is it? They want us there right, like, at 8 because the roads are shut down. He has dinner plans, but he can't leave until he prepares for tomorrow. Where do we have to be? 8.15, and that's going to be downtown? That's okay because Pat doesn't practice, so we can have a late day. Jumbo practice. There's stuff everywhere for you, but I don't know. Good enough for now. It's finally time to leave the office, but it's not time to stop working. My wife and I are going to have dinner with uh, one of the largest donors at the university and, uh, and hopefully uh, go to work on our practice facility. He accomplished a lot today, but that's what it will take to turn this struggling program around. We're not going to sign top 20 players every, every week, you know, um, and we're not going to be Kentucky every night, but we've got to do enough uh, to keep this thing moving in the right direction because there's no doubt in my mind that we can get there. He works hard, but Bruce Pearl still has a lot of work to do. Josh Rowe, Good job. 10 Sports.